Welcome back to Swindon, where I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Peter Cronin, who trains Whoops Jack, who goes in the semi-finals on Saturday night in the Derby. And of course, Peter, you've been to the final twice before with Croker's champion, Timor Bish. One mm. was quite fancied, one an outsider. How much would you love to get there again this year with Whoops Jack? This me, of course, it's, it's a fantastic feeling. Everyone wants to get to the Derby final. You know, it's something that everyone aspires to. The English Derby final for me is probably just, uh, you know, as a child watching it on television, you always kind of want to win it. And so, look, in any sport, you want to just try and do as well as you can and get to this holy grail which is the english derby final for me like but um you know we've gone within sniffing distance of it like <laughs> but we just didn't get our hands on it you know but um so i'm just hoping that maybe one of these years like it will materialize and that you know whoops check for me i've said it from day one you know getting him through the rounds but you know if he got into trap six in the final and um freshen him up for the week you know we'd be just hoping like that he'd give it everything you know yeah and of course three runs in eight days this is where some great hands start to pick up little niggles anything for whoops jack yeah look he's, he's a small bit sore definitely on a monkey muscle on the right hand side like but i think like going into the bend he did really drive the bend and he's probably used to shading in the rising brandy dog and just came up right on side him on the outside like and uh, maybe just tweaked it small but these things happen you know going through racing you're always going to pick up little niggles and um look time isn't against us a little bit like but I'd be happy enough that he'd be 100% spot on Saturday night um, we'll ultrasound sound the way and that's it like, but no more we can do than that only keep our fingers crossed you know of course your previous two finalists were at Wimbledon went out at Toaster I love mm -hmm. Toaster I've mm -hmm. loved the derby the atmosphere mm -hmm. the facilities mm -hmm. there's so much about it I like but I am mm -hmm. feeling that it's getting mm -hmm. a bit of stick recently I want you to be honest here mm -hmm. what do you think of Toaster for me you know first of all the facilities are second to none that's fantastic right sport is in you know, we're in a perilous state in the sense that the top end of the, the, the sport and you know we, we all need to be driving it together like you know and Toaster is a fantastic like, let's put on a, a fantastic show there um, uh, air command and that and it's been fantastic you know and um, I'd be all praised for Toaster I thought the English Derby last year was second to none never seen anything like it it was a massive plus for Greyhound Racing um, I think they absolutely pulled out all the bells and whistles and you know as regards to facilities fantastic the track itself it is what it is, you know. You know, you, you might have longer straights, you know, camber on the bends. You could tweak it this way, tweak it that way. But personally, myself, and I can only speak from my own experience, I've had no injuries at the track in any make, shape, or form. I've ran a lot of dogs there, and I hadn't had any injuries from racing wise. I haven't picked up injuries. I've come back, and my dogs have all raced straight away in Shelburne Park. So um, I can't fault the track in any make, shape, or form. Some dogs do take it, some dogs don't take it. It's as simple as that. Um, you can say, yes, it's going around on the spin and that there un there's extra stress on the dog, etc. going around the bench. But for me, if the dog goes in, they're 100% sound. You know, it's a good track, good galloping track. You need to get out in front, yes, and all those things. But you can come behind, it's a stiff 500. And, you know, this me, we just have to get used to it. This is a different track. It's not Wimbledon. It's a completely different kettle of fish. Go up to Shawfield, it's a different track. Go to Sheldon Park, it's a different track. Just get on with it, you know. Epson is a different track for the Derby. Goes downhill, dogs or horses lose balance, etc., etc. I don't know how many times we've heard it in the rain. Epson's still there. It's a fantastic, you know. The, the Grand National given out about this, that, and the other. The jumps were too high. They were too low. They tweaked it. They still have a Grand National. It's fantastic now. I mean, you know, the figures are up. Are, the betting is, is phenomenal. And I have no doubt, like with Toaster, they'll drive it on, and um, it'll be fantastic success. No doubt. Absolutely no doubt, yeah. And one thing uh, we can say about Toaster is it's exciting for the youngsters and uh, your son is here with you today uh, and hopefully one day might be training a dog himself at Toaster in the English Derby but uh, we hope his teachers aren't watching today, right? That's it, you know, that's it. But uh, I'm sure they're having a better two on anti-post if he's anything to do with it. But they, look, he, he's involved with all dogs like when they're young and that and they enjoy it when they're young and they get into it and look, he, he, it's second nature to them, you know, since they're young. Like So... Um, it's trying to get him home now is the trick, you know. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. You know? He's uh, certainly a star of the yeah, show along with yeah. Wix Jack as well. We'll be uh, speaking to Michael a little bit later on in the programme and, of course, meeting Wix Jack. So uh, stay tuned.